Title I just wanted to say a few words about our funds that we support today. So first fund is uh, Hero Heroes Ukraine. Uh, Operation Killer Heroes is, a, is an established uh, charity that was founded in uh, 2017 and they've been helping with uh, saving lives since then. And when this whole uh, Russian invasion started uh, two months ago, they decided to create a separate project called Heal Heroes Ukraine. And they allowed uh, like a few people, including myself and some other volunteers, to uh, raise money for this fund and spend this money to help Ukrainians. And uh, over the last two months, we raised $950,000, and that's a pretty, pretty significant sum. And this all was spent on uh, protective gear for Ukrainian defenders, for medicine for Ukrainian hospitals. And yeah, that's a huge support. And I wanted to thank you on behalf of Hilar Heroes for like all of your contributions. It's, it's really great things that we're doing here. So that's the first one. Uh, for the second one, I will invite my wife, Tanya, uh, who will tell a bit more about that. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Adela Pilat. I'm born and raised in Ukraine, and uh, I'm Roman's wife. And we soon realized that even if we win the war, right, if Ukraine uh, will never be taken over after the war, there will be tons of damages that we should rebuild Ukraine, right? And we were inspired, actually, that became a kind of some sort of like our life goal, right? To help rebuild the country that, that, that raised us. And uh, we started Fine Foundation. Uh, this is like small fund um, with Mighty Team. And we have a big goal to rebuild Ukraine, uh, starting from like schools and medical establishments and also support like like uh, residential like funds. So we are, uh, we just started raising money. We didn't deploy any money uh, yet into any projects. We just in the process of, of defining what projects will be good for private funds. As we know, everybody's starting to invest in, you know, rebuilding Ukraine. So some uh, initiatives will be supported by the state, but some will be supported by private funds. So we are just in the process and there will be more updates soon. If you donate to find a foundation, thank you for me personally, and I feel like there will be a bright future ahead. Right, once this is over. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And uh, without further ado, I will introduce our host for the evening, Jad Anurag. Please come in. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming tonight. I, uh, I want to just start by thanking our, our, our dear friends, Lena and Florian, for. Um, organizing this and assembling some of the most amazing classical musicians on the planet who've agreed to come from, from very far away to, uh, to donate their time and their talents uh, in support of Ukraine. I, I, I think we can all agree what's happening in Ukraine right now is, um, is a tragedy. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, and uh, as somebody who comes from a country that's been torn apart by war over and over, I, I know what it's like to read the news every morning how debilitating that can be. Um, and so uh, in these moments, it's very easy to sort of stick our head in the sand and, and, and ignore what's happening. And I'm really glad that you guys decided not to do that, and to come here and donate your money uh, and, uh, and hear some lovely music, uh, which sometimes is the only way we can process these things. Uh, so without further ado, um, let's hear some music. Uh, first person to perform for us tonight, um, really needs no introduction. Um, I have this piece of paper in case I pronounce names correctly, but Lena's going to help me if I if I screw it up. Um, he uh, he's performed all around the world with too many orchestras to mention, and we're very honored to have him here performing a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach for us. Please welcome Sergei Sergei Babayan. Yeah. 